I felt like if I had to endure that pain for the rest of my life, that it just would not be a happy existence. And it was literally like somebody had a knife in my left leg, twisting when I tried to walk. Something I had never experienced before. And I was crying. Over 80% of Americans will experience some type of back or neck pain in their lifetime. And if back pain hits, it can leave you feeling like your life is over. And it's very depressing when you've, you've always been active and you've always done, and all of a sudden, it's all, your whole life is shut down. Just the basics, I couldn't walk. I just, any, any distance, my wife and I were grocery shopping. I, I'd be double over hanging onto the cart. It was emotional for me. Um, not to be able to go shopping with my girls and not to be able to pick up, you know, kids. But there's good news. New technologies in spinal medicine are now being developed at an even faster pace. And with new techniques comes new hope for those who thought that nothing could be done. Welcome to the age of spinal medicine. Join Angie Mazel, Vanessa Hill, and Patrick Villegas, as during our show, you'll learn how people from all over the country came to Charleston to receive the new treatments and latest technologies found here at the Southeastern Spine Institute. There isn't any place in the uh, surrounding area that comes close to doing what a Southeastern Spine does. I was to the point where I would have gone anywhere and done anything to get some relief for that horrible pain. I was at reached a point where my life just wasn't good. I needed to do something, that's why I went to Charleston. Always one step ahead, the Southeastern Spine Institute presents another edition of the Age of Spinal Medicine. This episode, back in Charleston. And now, Angie Mazel. Hi, and welcome to our ninth in a series of medical documentaries to help educate the public on new advancements in spine medicine and to help people possibly like you know that you may no longer need to suffer with back pain. The Southeastern Spine Institute is a complete medical spine center. Here, specialized physicians working in multiple disciplines can diagnose and treat almost any type of back or neck problem using the latest technologies and procedures found anywhere in the country, and often in the same day. We've got everything here under one roof, actually two buildings next to one another. They can get every service they need. If you call and you're from out of town, we get you in sooner. We don't want anybody to be in pain, so we have a list of um, hotels that have agreed for a medical treatment. They can come in and get their discounts. We appreciate the fact that uh, many people come from a long distance to see us, and that's part of the reason that we've developed this concept of everything under one roof. Our first story is about one such person suffering from back pain who decided to come to Charleston from the Columbia area. And her story might best be titled, Well Worth the Trip. My intent was to get a second opinion and do it locally possibly because it's a little way down the road to Charleston. But I was so impressed because the whole package was there. Amy Hill is from Sandy Run, South Carolina. She's a very active career woman, on top of a busy home life as a wife, mother, and a dog lover. Come on, Berkeley. But all of her pursuits were interrupted when a minor back pain at work just kept getting worse. It got to the point where I couldn't sit on the couch comfortably, I couldn't lay in the bed comfortably, uh, I couldn't drive in the car or sit at work. Amy tried everything to relieve her pain. Her husband even went out and got anything he could find. We bought an inverter, we bought a massage table, we bought some kind of thing you lay on the floor to try to line your back, and uh, uh, you name it, we probably bought it, and, uh, but nothing ever really worked. Not being able to find a remedy for her pain started to take a real toll on Amy's active lifestyle. And then I started gaining weight because I couldn't you know, do the things that I was used to, so it was depressing early 40s and, and she was in just so much pain and it was, and it was, hard, to, it was hard to watch. You're afraid to move around a lot and if somebody jars you, it's almost like a knife stabbing down your legs. As her pain became intense, so did Amy's research. She finally decided it was worth the trip to Charleston to see Dr. Don Johnson at the Southeastern Spine Institute. The anticipation made it worth it because I knew I was going to a good place and I knew that they had a very good reputation. I think a lot of people drive a long distance to get here. It's because we've got a large practice. It's across the Southeast at this point. 
People know that they can drive down, but they can get high quality, excellent care. They did x-rays. I have had an MRI there as well. So everything's there. You don't have to leave and go to another place to get it done. They can do it all there for you. Amy, this next set of pictures is about six minutes. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. Good. When we see people from out of town, we put an extra emphasis on trying to get their medical care done that day. Everything's under one roof. They can take care of you right there. It's quite a busy place, but they do a great job. He told me there were two in the United States that did what they do in Charleston, and so I figured I didn't want to go to California. So. We see uh, people that travel from uh, not only across the southeast, but from the Midwest uh, and from the northeast. If you've ever traveled I-95, then you probably know of that tourist spot between North and South Carolina, south of the border. And as Pedro will tell you, here you'll find all kinds of interesting things for the whole family. South of the border has been in Richard Schaefer's family for a generation. And when he was having back issues that prevented him from doing his job as a manager, he set out to find the best possible place for help. I searched three states, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. I looked at every spinal surgeon in three states before I made up my mind what I wanted to do. First time I met Richard in the office, he couldn't stand up. His legs were very weak. And the problem that he had was a problem in his neck. A lot of people don't know that you can have neck problems that cause you to have weak legs. He was very straightforward. He explained everything. He took his time. He was very thorough in his analysis of what was wrong, and he actually showed us. I felt comfortable in that he knew what was wrong and that he could correct it. We're able to take care of the problem with an accurate diagnosis and a proper recommendation all within one day. Well, it's 160 miles, but hey, when you're dealing with what I was dealing with, it's a very short trip. South of the border is a big place. It's about 300 acres. Uh, Richard really enjoys getting up, walking around, seeing the people that work there, talking to the customers, looking at all the activities that he has there. And he couldn't do that before. He's able now to get up, do the things that he needs to do, see the people that he needs to see. He gave me my life back. All of the physicians at the Southeastern Spine Institute spend the time needed for each patient, time to listen to their specific back or neck problems, and time to talk to them and give an accurate diagnosis, explaining the many modern medical treatments that are now available. For Amy, all of the additional information was quite welcome because she was about to make a very important decision. He gave me options, of course, and the better one for me for a permanent solution was the surgery. The technology has evolved, it's changed over the years, and we try to stay right on the forefront of that. I was so impressed with Dr. Johnson and so excited about the new stuff that they were doing and how innovative they were. We try to do things as small, as easy, what we call as minimally invasively as possible. While many people have heard of laser surgery, it is the modern, minimally invasive techniques offered by Southeastern Spine that are at the forefront of helping people get out of pain and back into their active lives as quickly as possible. Dr. Stephen Paletti explains. Laser surgery implies microsurgery. It implies surgery without cutting muscle, without cutting bone. And we do offer what people would commonly refer to as laser surgery. And after her minimally invasive surgery, was Amy able to get back to her very active life? It's exciting to be able to move and to have my life back and uh, be able to go out and play with the dogs. And they can jump on me. It doesn't knock me over. It doesn't uh, send any shooting pains down my leg. She's a new woman. She's uh, back to her old energetic self. You know, you, you never really know, looking at her, that she had had surgery. I am able to pick up my great nephew, and I wasn't able to do that, and that's a relief for me because I am an expected grandmother in January, and I want to be able to hold my grandchild and bend over and pick him up and play with, you know, the baby. When mom's back was really bad, I was like, oh my gosh, my mom's never going to be able to pick up my kid. So now that her back is better, it's just amazing. 
because now I know my kid's gonna have the childhood that I had. We know now that after the surgeries that we do nowadays, they can get back to very active lifestyles. So Amy's back to doing the things she likes to do now. I'm normally a very happy person and a very energetic, but for a couple of years, I was wondering if I had lost me. But Dr. Johnson gave me me back. <laughs> Some of you may remember Vanessa Hill's story from our last show about Meredith Nelson. Meredith was able to lead a push-up event to raise money for Charleston area schools just a year after having successful back surgery. Well, as promised, we caught up with Meredith again, and when we come back, we'll have the rest of the story. A lot of times I'll see people in the gym working out, and they're doing the right exercises, but they're not doing them right. For more information on spine health, visit us on the web at southeasternspine.com or call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment. Last three, push through. As a personal trainer who herself was in top shape, Meredith found that when it comes to overcoming back pain, sometimes being fit is just not enough. Even though I exercise religiously and I feel like I'm in pretty good shape, I was very surprised to hear that I had a serious back problem. Up on the bow, Sue. Start with the weights at your shoulders. For somebody that's a fitness instructor like Meredith, uh, a problem like that would change her life forever. She was somebody that came in basically dragging her leg, unable to pull her ankle up and down. She had a large ruptured disc. I ruptured my disc, and Dr. Paletti said that I had no option but to have surgery like two days later. For somebody like Meredith, it was very important to take the pressure off of the nerve, but do it in such a way that we didn't cut any of the muscle in her back and we didn't remove any bone to do that. And so that operation is microsurgery, it's endoscopic surgery, it's done through an incision that's about three quarters of an inch long and it's something that we can do as an outpatient. That means she can have the surgery and leave the surgery center right after. So I was surprised when I realized that yes I would be able to do everything that I had wanted to do. Another thing I like to do and I'm able to do now is play golf. I can bike, I can uh, run, I can do yoga, I can lift weights. Pretty much I'm back to 100%. We all know that spinal health starts with a strong core. There's a fallacy in thinking about maybe I should be still. When I'm still, my back doesn't hurt, but that's actually the worst thing you can do. What you should do is be up walking and anything you can do to strengthen up the muscles in your stomach and your back. When it comes to getting you back to your active life, the Southeastern Spine Institute uses precise technologies and procedures. So it makes sense that even our physical therapy is custom designed to meet your specific back or neck problem. Vanessa Hill explains. Did you know that there are many different types of physical therapy? So if you hurt your back, don't settle for one size fits all physical therapy. The physical therapy for uh, spine related problems is very different than the physical therapy for a knee joint or a, sp a sprained ankle. Um, most physical therapists in the area treat everything. Physical therapists here only treat spine patients. We actually know what are the dynamics of the disc, what are the dynamics of the spine. When I'm working out with someone who's in chronic pain, I encourage them to go see a doctor. Um, the first thing they need to do is get a diagnosis. This is what normal looks like. Now we come down a level. To help you get out of pain, it's important that you have an accurate medical diagnosis. You can depend on the expertise of the Southeastern Spine Institute. I think it is so important to find that proper diagnosis because the most important thing is the education to the patient. They taught me all the great ways to, uh, to bend and squat um, without using my back and, and further injuring myself. At the Southeastern Spine Institute, we specialize in spine health. So when you come here for physical therapy, you know that you're going to get the right therapy for your specific back or neck problem. 
Since over 90% of back pain sufferers get better without surgery, it's nice to know that you'll have a better chance of avoiding surgery if you come in early. Get proper therapy and education on protecting your back. So that's another reason that I feel comfortable sending people to Southeastern Spine because uh, despite what people might think, they're not going to rush you into surgery if they don't think that it's the right answer for you. Even though the surgery has gotten less invasive, that doesn't mean that it's something that you would do now that you wouldn't do before. Surgery is still a last resort. And here at Southeastern Spine, uh, we have a lot of options. We usually like to exhaust those options before we consider surgery. So, uh, we get it just on the right side, which uh, yes. for you would be this side. Yep. And so that tells you that your pain is coming from these little joint capsules here. Okay. This is like a hinge, just like your knee or your fingers. It's what okay. allows your back to move. It's your back. Don't just trust it to anyone. Come in and get specialized physical therapy at a place that you know you can trust with your spine. Physical therapy at the Southeastern Spine Institute. Another reason we're always one step ahead. Thank you, Vanessa. And you can learn more about specialized physical therapy and the many other non-operative treatments and services available by going to our website at southeasternspine.com. And when we come back, our own Patrick Villegas will take you on a ride with a truck driver whose livelihood was jeopardized with severe back pain. He's a trucker who is headed eastbound and literally down on all fours. He had back pain. We'll introduce you to a man who's finally got himself and his truck up and running. I'd have to work through the pain. And sometimes it was excruciating. I mean, I'd, I'd be doubling up on a leave or, or aspirins or whatever. You can watch full versions of our many shows by going to southeasternspine.com and clicking medical documentary. Southeastern Spine Institute, always one step ahead. Call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment. Our next story is about someone you might see every day. Someone whose job is to help keep America moving. And for Michael Bowies, that job is being in the middle of things and always on the move. I love driving. You're in the center of everything. I love the job. I mean, work, work for yourself, you know, it's, it's, I enjoyed it. If you sit for a living, you know it can be hard on your back. But did you know for truck drivers, it's not just the sitting, but shifting heavy gears that really takes its toll. Pushing in the clutch, which that was the hard part, uh, just put a lot of pressure on your lower back. When you drive a truck, you got, it's a double clutch. So you got to hit the clutch twice each time you shift. And with 10 gears, you know, you're talking 20 times with one, one traffic light. While sitting and shifting is hard work, so is loading, unloading, and keeping up with the maintenance of a big rig. So when Michael started having pain in his back, his job just kept getting harder and harder. Could, didn't ever knew what it was. It was just always hurting, always hurt. Progressively got worse. But I'd have to work through it. I'd have to work through the pain. And sometimes it was excruciating. Your back injury was also affecting your life here in the home. You were literally on hands and knees? I literally crawl to the bathroom because I couldn't, I couldn't get up. Numbness down the legs, legs were just like they, like they were gone. It got to the point where Michael knew he would need to see someone other than just his family doctor. He heard about the Southeastern Spine Institute and had seen their medical programs on TV, so he called and got right in to see Dr. Don Johnson. He sat me down, point by point, this is, what, this is what's wrong with you. Uh, this is what we can do. Mike wanted to get back to being able to work out with weights, ride his motorcycle, do his job, which required prolonged sitting in his truck. One of the discs actually slipped forward out, out of place. And he said, that's what's causing that pain. One of the sciatic nerves is being pinched. So we were able to use a new fusion technique using a small incision in the patient's side, doing the operation through a tube, and we were able to replace his disc with a box. The box had some bone glue in it. It healed up the problem very easily for him without the use of screws and rods. He was able to get back to doing a lot of things that a lot of people in the past couldn't do. It was great, it's like a new, a new life, you know. I, I can do the things that I couldn't do. Has that surgery helped you? Oh my God, it's just, it's just a godsend. It's just, it's great. I, I love it. I, I, I can move, I, I'm not in pain. Thanks to the Southeastern Spine Institute, Michael is yet again driving his truck and he's making a living. But more importantly, he's doing what he loves to do best. That's riding his motorcycle. 
and he's doing it pain-free. Lifting weights again, riding my motorcycle, just doing every, anything that I used to be able to do long ago that, that I had to stop doing, you know, I'm back to doing. I thought I, I'd probably have to put up with that the rest of my life. Can't believe I didn't find this out sooner. I would have had it done a lot sooner. Patrick, it sounds like Michael was very happy with his experience at Southeastern Spine. Yes, Angie, anytime he has the chance, he recommends the Southeastern Spine Institute, not only for the great treatment he received from the doctors and nurses, but he, like other patients, have another reason they come to Charleston. I like history, and uh, I love going to, like going downtown in Charleston, visiting uh, the, the, the historic homes. We walked up there and viewed the sites. It was beautiful. And uh, we, it was something we wanted to do, and each time we come across that bridge to go see Dr. Play, we said, we got to stop and do this. It is a, not a bad trip at all to come to Charleston to see the doctor. Charleston is a lovely city to visit. There's always something to do, and you never leave without getting a good meal. We would go up to, and have our appointment, and on our way home, we always stopped at Nathan's and had a fun lunch there and just made a day trip of it. The Southeastern Spine Institute has helped thousands of people suffering with back or neck pain to get back to their active lives, and maybe they can help you too. For more information, go to southeasternspine.com or call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment. When the age of spinal medicine continues, we'll meet a city girl who moved to the country and bought a farm. And while she has a good work ethic and a strong will, she found out that sometimes life on a tractor can be tough on the back. Jostling on the tractor and having your back moving and, you know, that, that really wears on you. For more information on spine health, visit us on the web at southeasternspine.com or call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment. I'm Angie Mazzell, and welcome back to the Age of Spinal Medicine. Not long ago, Suzanne Berry and her husband bought a small farm, and they moved from Michigan to Conway, South Carolina, to start a new life. And life on the farm was good, with chickens and cows and all different types of animals. They even started raising water buffalo. You don't have to be afraid. Everything was great and going according to plan, until one day when Suzanne was on her tractor doing her usual daily farm duties. I was cleaning out a cow pasture and I didn't realize that they had dug a hole and the back wheel of the tractor went in the hole and the tractor went cattywampus. It felt like I had been shot, as if you had put your finger in an electric socket and got like zapped. It was very painful. And I remembered the infomercial on TV that I had seen and thought, if they're that good, I need to call them. She uh, had an accident driving her tractor on their farm. Uh, we saw her as an emergency work inpatient. I was really surprised that he said that they had MRI machines right there at Southeastern Spine and that I could get into that day. And she was found to have a severe ruptured disc pinching the spinal cord. He told us he had a meeting with Dr. Johnson and Dr. Johnson. And that made me feel really confident that I was gonna be taken care of really well. It is this team approach at Southeastern Spine that helps patients who are in pain, and often a little scared, feel better about the care they'll receive. There was a group effort, a concern that I hadn't experienced in the past. Just as it takes many hands to work a farm, the Southeastern Spine Institute has medical professionals in all areas of spine health working together to make sure that you get the proper diagnosis and the best solution for your specific back or neck problem. They do a great job of finding out what's wrong with you and they'll be able to help you. They can't always fix it all, but they can certainly help you. Pressure in an area that's already kind of inflamed and mm -hmm. that just means we're getting that medicine right where you need it even though there's a whole room full of people waiting to see somebody, each person you see treats you like you were the only one. Only one. 
And that group effort also extended into the operating room, which included not only a number of doctors, spine surgeons, and nurses, but also a neurologist who carefully monitored the nervous system during Suzanne's modern surgery. And Suzanne couldn't be happier with the outcome. She's now back on her tractor, bumps and all. I feel like I'm back to my old self. The bumps don't seem to affect me. I think the surgery that he did made sure that my discs are safe and I don't have to worry anymore. Suzanne's a, a very active young lady. Uh, she is, in fact, uh, getting uh, her black belt in karate. It really is a, a great way to stay fit and be healthy. Thanks. That's how it's done. <laughs> and a follow-up to our story, Suzanne did indeed get her black belt, and with the help she received here at Southeastern Spine, there's no stopping her from living the life she wanted to have. He took me from a really awful situation and did what he needed to do and made me back to being whole again with no restrictions. <laughs> You can watch full versions of our many shows by going to southeasternspine.com and clicking Medical Documentary. Everyone knows that Charleston is a top wedding destination, and it's also one of the most polite cities in the country. But recently, Charleston was also voted the number one vacation destination in the nation for the third year in a row. And Southeastern spine patients say that's a bonus because they get the most advanced treatments in spinal medicine, plus they get to visit one of the most beautiful historic places in the country. If you suffer from neck or back pain and you're lucky enough to live in the Charleston area, then the Southeastern Spine Institute is right in your own backyard. But if you're from out of town and you need help, then traveling to Southeastern Spine will be well worth the trip. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time for another edition of The Age of Spinal Medicine. Generally speaking, the drive is just fine because you're coming to a place that's going to give you the care that you need wonderful surgeon like Dr. Paletti that really takes care of you and gets rid of the pain. And I know you can't do that with everybody, but at least it's an opportunity and it, it's worth the trip to Charleston. The two hour drive here was wor well worth it and I would not have any other doctor. I needed relief and it didn't seem to me that two hour drive was any problem. It's a little over two hours but uh, my husband and I were just determined that we were going to find the best care. It was five hours. I would take the five hours to come here. The Spine Institute's the place to come to if you have any issues with your spine. Everybody took care of me. Uh, they seemed really, really concerned. It made me feel really, really confident that I had gone to the right place. The Southeastern Spine Institute has helped thousands of people suffering with back or neck pain to get back to their active lives. And maybe they can help you too. For more information, go to southeasternspine.com or call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment.